Well, you've seen it. This is the poinsettia. Every Christmas we pull them out. It's a plant that's generally green, but around November, December, all the leaves turn red. Now, you may wonder why this is part of our Christmas celebration. Here is a legend from Mexico of the poinsettia plant and our Christmas celebration. Now, in Mexico, they don't open presents on Christmas Eve. No, they don't. They go to the church and celebrate and sing, go home and sleep, and then in the morning they open their presents. This story begins the evening of Christmas when Grandmama was walking towards the church with her grandson, Pedro. Oh, Pedro! Uh, 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 Pedro! Pedro, hurry up! We won't have a place to sit in the church! Uh, uh. Uh, Pedro, please hurry up. I'm an old woman. I want to sit down. Hurry, Pedro. Hurry up. Pedro was walking very slow. In fact, when Grandma turned around, he was just standing in the roadway with his head down. She came back. She said, Pedro, Pedro, what are you doing? Why are you walking so slow? Talk to me. Uh, are you walking slow because you have on your brother's shirt and it feels like you have on a, oh, a tent? No. Oh, Pedro. Uh, Pedro, look at me. Pedro, are you walking slow because your feet are in your brother's shoes and it feels like they are gunboats on your feet? No. Oh, Pedro, why are you walking so slow? <laughs> Grandmama? Yes, Pedro. When we get to the church, we'll have to give a present to the baby Jesus, see? Yes, Pedro, everyone gives a birthday present to the baby. Why? Grandmama, I don't have a present for the baby Jesus. <laughs> oh, Pedro, Pedro, look at me. Don't you know that Jesus is the Son of God? He has everything, Pedro, everything in the world except one thing that you can give him. Give him anything, but what he wants is your love. Your love, Pedro. Give him your love. And me? Ugh. I want you to give me a seat in the church. Now walk quicker, please. Come with me fast. Pedro felt a little better. He walked along till he saw a plant that was growing out of the, the cobblestones. He picked it up. He said, you are little like me. I will give you to the baby Jesus with all my heart. Well, one street led to another, led into a bigger street, and suddenly they were in the middle of the big square. Everyone was standing around singing Christmas carols, and the church looked so bright, so shiny, so clear. Finally, they opened the doors, and everyone flooded in and filled all the chairs in the church. Sure enough, there was no place for Grandmama to sit. Oh, Pedro! They had to stand in the back. Now, there was singing. That was nice. And there was a long talk. Pedro didn't understand very much about that. And then the music began, and the people began to move forward. They went for the church, and slowly Pedro began to move. And he could see that in the front of the church, there was Jesus on the cross. And at the foot of it all was the little baby in the straw in the crash. Well, by the time Pedro got to the front, there had been so many other people, and their presents were all piled up and glittering and gleaming on the left and the right side of the little baby in the straw. He felt a little intimidated, but he remembered what Grandma said, and he came forward. He said, Happy birthday, Jesus. I love you. And I brought you this little plant. I'll put it right here by the, the legs of your crush, and no one else will know it's there except you and me. Maybe happy birthday. Bye-bye. Then things got confusing. People started following, saying, Miracolo, Miracolo. He hid in the curves of her dress. And then finally she said, Pedro, look, Miracolo, a miracle is happening. And he turned around, and he saw that the little plant he had put between the legs of the crush had grown into a giant plant and picked up Jesus in the middle of the church. And as everyone was watching, the leaves of the plant burst red. 
oh, it was a miracle. And people talked about it, and the story was passed tongue to ear, tongue to ear, until finally it reached the ears of a storyteller in Wahiwa. And he told it in that night's service, until finally that storyteller is able to tell the story to you. So now you know the reason why the poinsettia is part of our Christmas celebration year in and year out, because of a miracle, because of a story, and because of the love of a young boy in his heart. Amen. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. <laughs>